today is my last day here in Hollywood. Uh, I guess that makes it day five. I'll be going home about well, later this afternoon, early evening, and I'm going to try to see a few things before my day runs out, a few filming locations, a few maybe historical places, and if it works out, we'll see. Maybe there'll be a pretty cool museum too. So, come along. So this is a pretty big one. This is a big one. So I'm out here in Griffith Park, and um, anybody that knows me at all knows that I love the Blues Brothers, the film, the act, John Belushi, Dan Aykroyd, a big time lover of them. I've been to many of the Blues Brothers filming locations, but not this one. <laughs> I recently found out about it and I wanted to come check it out for myself. Now, this was a night scene in the film, but I do not feel it would be safe to come out here and try to do this alone at night <laughs> because I literally have to stand in the middle of this road. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. Uh, but right now it's very early in the morning, not too much traffic out, so I thought it'd be a great time. So, what am I talking about, right? Well, you know how the Blues Brothers, they, uh, they tell the band that they've got a gig and they go to the uh, good old country bunker and they pretend to be another band and uh, they do their show and they end up running a bigger bar bill. Ah, maybe there's more traffic out here than I thought. They end up running up a bigger bar bill than they actually were going to get paid for the gig. And then uh, just as, you know, they're kind of wrapping it up, the real band shows up. The real band finds out that they tried to pretend that they were them and a pursuit begins and the good old boys are chasing uh, the, the Blues Brothers band down uh, a road, if you remember. Uh, Elwood put glue under the um, the gas pedal so that when they stepped on it when it, and it went to accelerate, it would stick. And so they, they engaged in this pursuit on a very kind of bendy, windy road. That's this road. <laughs> That is this bendy, twisty, windy road right behind me here in Griffith freaking park. <laughs> so, um, Griffith park. Yeah. Most of it was filmed. Uh, a lot of it was filmed in Chicago, but there were a couple scenes that were filmed in LA. There was some studio work done and this was who would have thunk it in Griffith park. So I'm going to show you. All right. So there's my little rental. I was able to park my car over there, come across the street. You can just see we're in the middle of a park, right? Griffith Park. Huge park. There's all kinds of stuff here. There's a zoo. There's merry-go-rounds and amusement rides and just all kinds of different things. Of course, there's the observatory and right there. In fact, I might have to step into the road just a little bit. You can kind of see the curve in the road they come out from right behind you know behind that stop sign this curve and come on out this way uh during the pursuit you definitely do see these uh trees in the scene they're very distinguishable uh trees um and then you do see this other tree over here as well so I mean, this is it this is where the good old boys were in hot pursuit of the blues brothers of course there was a police car uh hidden and uh, once they passed the police car the police car got engaged in the pursuit uh and, and it all went to hell in a handbasket from there so traffic is starting to pick up here i guess people have started to wake up so i better get out of here but that is it the blues since uh, marijuana is legal here. But that is the beautiful Hollywood sign. All right, I'm La Brea Avenue, just south of Hollywood Boulevard, and I'm trying to raise my voice because this traffic, uh, it's insane. Anyway, uh, so, 
I'm standing before this building. Looks like a really nice Tudor building, right? What is so special about it though? Why would I want to come here and film it? Well, let's see. Let me get a little closer and see if I can't help you recognize something. So, that guy looked familiar up there. Does he? I know, it ain't easy being green, right? So what I'm standing in front of right now is actually current, currently the uh, Jim Henson Studio. Jim Henson Studios, but prior to that, it was actually Charlie Chaplin's Studios. And there's a pretty famous photo of him standing right on the, right by that column there. Uh, the roses are kind of obscuring the view, but I am gonna try to stand there and, and try to recreate that shot a little bit. Uh, it goes a little something like uh, that, as I recall. I'm trying to not get the people in my shot. Um, you do see the sidewalk in that, that image, but yeah, this is it. This is Charlie Chaplin's studios. And then taken over by Jim Henson Studios. And that's why we have the lovely Kermit the Frog up there these days. Obviously, he was not there during the Charlie Chaplin days, so he's not in that original uh, iconic photo of Mr. Chaplin by those steps. But I thought this was pretty cool. I wanted to come see it. Thought you might enjoy seeing it. It's pretty, pretty expansive building. It goes all the way down uh, up there, all the way up to that. Let's see, kind of that blue sign there, white and blue sign, I think is where it ends. So it covers almost, my goodness, almost an entire uh, city block here on La Brea. I, actually, it does take up the entire city block now that I take a closer look at it. So this is it. This is where Muppet magic happens. <laughs> right here. My goodness! On La Brea Avenue. Okay. So cute. So I now actually uh, turned the corner. We were on that uh, street right there, La Brea, a moment ago. I turned the corner and now you can see just how far back the Jim Henson Studios, originally the Charlie Chaplin Studios, uh, how far back it goes. It literally seems to take up an entire city block. That's pretty impressive. So yeah, that's the uh, studio from the side view. Oh my God. Getting in my shots. Uh, JHC there by the gate. Jim Henson Creations, maybe? That's what I'm thinking. Okay, that's so pretty. Beautiful building. Lots of history right here on La Brea, south of Hollywood Boulevard. Okay. Just kitty corner from my Roosevelt uh, Hotel is dun, 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 Grumman's Chinese Theater. So I'm meeting some friends in a little bit, but I thought I would take a look at some of the handprints and signatures in the ground here and see what we have. Here we go. Wow, Anthony Hopkins since 2001. Nicholas Cage. Handprints and footprints. Love it. Eddie Murphy. Damn. <laughs> Oops. Eddie Murphy. Be free. There's so many. It's impossible to see them all. Let's see. Jean Harlow. Red skeleton. Uh, I'm not sure what order to go in. <laughs> Let's see. Cary Grant. 
Natalie Wood, done in 1961. Jack, Jack Nicholson, done in 1974. Here's Jackie. Oh my gosh. Um, Jane Fonda. Henry Fonda. Doris Day. Saw her star the other day. Now we have her hand in her footprints. Wow. Edward G. Robinson, Rita Hayworth. Uh, oh, Michael Keaton. Nice. They should have an imprint of his Batman costume. Walter Matthau. Danny Glover. Ron Howard. Oh, how nice. Great. I love that one. Oh my gosh. Arnold Schwarzenegger. I uh, wish the German in Venice was here. He does a really good Arnold. <laughs> Actually, so does Adam the Woo for that matter. <laughs> Let's see. Who else have we got here? Oh, Bruce Willis. <laughs> Yippee Kaye. How awesome is that? Or Dean Martin. Peter Sellers, hmm. Margaret O'Brien, Jean Autry, Clifton Webb, Jane Marilyn, wait, okay, Jane Russell and Marilyn Monroe, who both starred in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. This was done in 1953. I didn't exist yet, and I'm sure a lot of you did not exist yet when that was done. I guess that can be said about a lot of this. Danny Thomas. Wow, this is amazing. Sophia Loren. Charlton Heston. Adam Ladd. Who else? Kevin Costner. Oh, we'll come back to Kevin. Michael Douglas. Oh, I love Michael Douglas. He's definitely one of my favorites. Next to another all-time great, Al Pacino, who's about to apparently have a baby. He's having a baby with his uh, girlfriend. Oh my gosh, there's another great... Oh, there's so many great ones. Richard Gere. Richard Gere. Um, Johnny Depp. And Robert De Niro. <laughs> Robert freaking De Niro. That's amazing. Sean Connery, the original and best James Bond. Kirk Douglas. I gotta stop at this one. Frank Sinatra. Not too far from his buddy Dean Martin, who was just a few scores over that way. So that's nice. Frankie. Julie Andrews. Cher. <laughs> If I could turn back time, that is our share. To who else? Rob, Helen Mirren, Robert Duvall, Sandra Bullock, Vin Diesel, Dwayne Johnson, uh, Jackie Chan. There's this. I mean, this just goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> There's no, not going to be a way to show you guys all of them. But you're getting a good idea. Let's see what this is over here. Chinese heaven dogs in Ming Dynasty. Okay. And this is in commemoration of the 100th anniversary of Hollywood. This little plaque here. That was uh, on May 1487, so it was 100 years old in 1987. You really are, you really are just surrounded by old Hollywood legends here. Their handprints and their footprints, wind and autographs here at the Grauman's Chinese Theater. It's a trip. <laughs> if you haven't seen this ever and you get to LA, you need to check it out. It's incredible. Shop. It's 
now that we're standing inside the theater, this is what the inside of the walls look like. And the iconic pagodas up there. Beautiful architecture. All right, over on the other side, on the right side, we have uh, Gregory Peck. Debbie Reynolds is over here. Robert Downey Jr. Oh, look at this one. Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone. It's a La La Land uh, plaque. I'm not sure why some plaques are bigger than others. That might be something worth checking out. If I find out, I could put that in. Oh, this is a, oh. Okay, Hugh Jackman, but what I was really freaking out about was this one. Quentin Tarantino. Hmm. I don't know. I might have to, I just might. I might have to put my hand in that one. Quentin, you do good work, dude. <laughs> Let's see. Is that, I can't say that last name. <laughs> I'm not good with these long names. Oh, John Wayne. There's just so many. There's so many. We could spend like a couple hours here. And, and now I'm going in circles. <laughs> There's just so much. It's over. Oh my gosh, Shirley Temple's over there. Shirley Temple. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. Which one do I know? Which one do I know? I see Bing Crosby over there. Keep going. Let's keep going. Jimmy Durant. Roy Rogers. Humphrey Bogart. <laughs> may you never die till I kill you. Okay, that may, I like that. May you never die till I kill you. That is very clever. I might have to borrow that once or twice. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, Jack Lemon. Shirley McLean. Hmm. Not sure what that meantime means. Sydney Poitier is over here. Jackie Cooper. John Landau. Jim Cameron. Patrick Stewart. There's just so many. I think I've said that once or twice. Oh, over here is Lily Tomlin. Lily Tomlin and Billy Crystal. Very cool. It's just a sea of handprints and footprints. It's incredible. What a nice nod to old Hollywood. Love it. So over here we have Mel Gibson. That's pretty cool. But the one next to him is one that's kind of uh, quacking me up. <laughs> it's Donald Duck. Donald Duck. And instead of, you know, the handprint, we have his little... <laughs> his little duck feet. That is so cute. I love it. Here is one for Sylvester Stallone. Keep punching. That's appropriate. Okay, one more row I have to show you and then I might stop. Alright, we have Matt Damon. Oh. And his co-star in Ocean's Eleven, George Clooney. Yeah, okay. I gotta do this one for sure. I gotta put my hands where George's are. Oh, wow. They're a little bit bigger than mine. Well, his fingers are a little longer. But, <laughs> about the same palm size. Me and George have the same palm size. And then over here, the king of comedy, Dick Van Dyke. And that's probably a great place to stop because I don't know how we can get any better than I just talked to the nice man over there to get a little information. He said this is almost 100 years old. They started doing this in 1927, so almost 100 years old. Um, I asked if they're still doing it, if they're still having stars come here and get their their um, handprints and footprints uh, in the cement. And he said yes. And I guess, you know, the fact that La La Land is here, that's pretty recent, 2016. And um, I did ask 
Why well, some of them are so much larger than others. Some are large, some are small. I know you. You do know me. Oh, I'm in the shot. I was trying to stay out of it. You can be in the shot. All right. This is my buddy, Jordan. We're doing a little adventuring today. Um, so yeah, he said some of them are big and some are small because they're running out of space. This has been here almost 100 years. There's just not that much space left. So they've had to make them smaller and smaller to make room for future celebrities that need to uh, deserve to have their themselves memorialized here. What do you think? This is a lot to take in, honestly. I'm really excited because I just found Vin Diesel and Dwayne Johnson's, and I didn't know they had one. They got Adam Sandler and Arnold Schwarzenegger all over there. I haven't made it to this side yet, <laughs> but a bunch of people just showed up, so I'm kind of let, letting them take their yeah. time. And you, you said it well. It's a lot to take in. You don't it, think you think it's just yeah, a few handprints in this cement, but it's it's mm, no, it's a lot more. Um, what did you think of Bruce Willis? Did you see Bruce Willis? Yes, I did. Yippee yeah, we won't we will follow up with that. <laughs> <laughs> you know how that goes. So yeah, it's great. If you ever come to California, it's worth uh, it's worth getting out here. Looks like they give tours in different languages. So come on out. So I went over Roy Rogers one a little too quickly, and I did not notice, and I just noticed now. This is not only Roy Rogers' handprints and footprints, and apparently the the outline of his gun. It's also Trigger's footprints. See, Trigger, horses hooves. <laughs> I love it. That's really cute. Here's another great one. It's starting to get a little busier here and a little louder, but here is uh, the great Steven Spielberg. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I think that might be George Lucas. I, I'm not sure, but this is definitely Steven Spielberg over here. So here is Judy Garland, and uh, these here, you can see how much larger they were maybe back when they, uh, you know, this is uh, 1933, right? Yeah. So um, they've gotten considerably smaller. This one's really large from the Ritz Brothers. So you can see they have gotten progressively smaller just due to a shortage of land, which makes sense. This one I like, it says to the public. I know. <laughs> yeah, every time you turn around, there's another one. So here's another one. Here's another one I just noticed, and it says to the public who made this all possible. Love you, Burt Reynolds. Aw, that's sweet. I love it when a celebrity uh, you know, embraces their fans. I've just spent four nights with all this news about where Marilyn Monroe lived for two years while she was becoming Marilyn, and I've seen some things that belong to her. I kind of, I'm kind of feeling Marilyn, the Marilyn spirit right now. So I gotta just put my hands down and see how this feels. <laughs> Look at how tiny her feet are, though. That is so tiny. Wow. Oh my gosh! Look at that. Like Marilyn and I have the same hands as it. That's about all. That's the same size. Of it, I assure you. <laughs> that is so cool. Those are either really tiny feet or really, really tall heels because the heel part is singular. Maybe there's been Marilyn. Too bad what happened to you. Very sad. Very sad.